It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the New York Giants and the Dallas Cowboys, and it's coming up next. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis with you from our broadcast perch. And Charles, as we get this thing started, what are you going to be keeping your eye on? Special teams. Field position is always a big determiner in a ball game. Who sets their offense up for success the best? That team will win the game. Set for football now at AT&T Stadium. Brandon Aubrey has the honors, and we are underway here in Arlington. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. First go on offense for the Giants under the guidance of Daniel Jones, the former Duke Blue Devil. We knew about the great mind coming out of Duke, and we saw the athletic ability and the potential. Watching it all come together and get better with each passing year, that's been fun. He can throw it deep throw it short, and of course take off out of the pocket and beat you with his legs as well. Jones wants to throw to start things out here. And throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. No receivers open downfield, so instead of forcing the ball to the sideline, He's going to throw this one down to Fort Worth. He'd rather have the incompletion than the turnover. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give them 18 there, and the Giants have a first down. Anytime a team goes on the road, there's always that little bit of fear that maybe they can be affected by the hometown crowd. But this is where game planning really came into play. They talked about it all week. Go in there, establish yourselves. Well, that run right there, that slows down the crowd and gives them a lot of confidence. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. From the 48-yard line, here's second down and five. Throwing Jones. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Now Jones. Here's a diving catch right side. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 32-yard line. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. To me, there's nothing like watching rookie effort in the NFL. So excited to be there. They're going to give you the max on each and every play, aren't they? Well, he proved himself on that catch, that's for sure. I think he may have proved himself to the point where he's going to get a second here. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. Call it a gain of three on the play, and that will bring up second down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape. 
or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved just as you said they want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game but they must like the matchups they're getting here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side and he went backwards he'll be down at the 30. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Certainly looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. So Jones off, Graham Gano on here for the New York Giants field goal. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt. Gano's kick is good. And the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. First look at the Cowboys offense as Dak Prescott gets ready to guide them. It's been a lot of fun watching him advance in his career. Many people question his ability to throw the football coming out of Mississippi State. He's conclusively answered that question. In addition, a very strong runner and an even better leader. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 21. They start on the ground with Elliott. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. From the 25, here's second and six. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. That one, a first down pickup of eight. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Prescott. Now throw right side here going to be incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways call this penalties. Second and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Here now a third down and eight. Prescott from the gun. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we say it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Now this throw caught left side, and he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 
Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. They expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Now Prescott. Throw left side, complete. That's Elliott. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. That'll give him eight that time, and it's second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Prescott now on second down. That's going to be caught. Touchdown! Jake Ferguson. 27 yards, and the Cowboys have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped, but in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that. <laughs> they weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive dead with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Back to throw. Jones firing quickly here, and that's complete. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Looking to throw. Jones. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Here's Jones, throwing on first down. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. Again, he'll drop to throw. Throw caught by Hyatt on the slant. 
This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Now a second and two. Singletary trying the left side. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Rush coming, and he's taken down. A well-designed corner blitz that gets him for a loss of eight yards. Chalked that one up to bad acting, I guess, because they certainly failed to sell the handoff, and the pressure stayed keyed in on the quarterback. No Oscar awards for this offense, just a loss of yardage. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Jones. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Back to throw. Jones. And he's going to be taken down. Back around the 35-yard line. Oh, so Diggy Zua with the effort there to earn the sack. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what. When he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. That was perfect. From distance, he steps up, knocks it right down Main Street. And yeah, Main Street's celebrating right now with him, aren't they? I love the mechanics of the whole thing. Snap, hold, everything was right on target, and the blocking was perfect, and he executed so, so well. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Prescott now. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Now second and three. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And that's complete downfield to Cooks. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 22 yards there, a first down. And a good quarterback 
facing zone coverage, if he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. A partner that locked in man coverage out left and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. After one, a one-point game, 7-6. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Looking to throw, Prescott. Touchdown, Cowboys! Two first half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott, and the Cowboys are able to extend their lead. Great quarter out there, not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field, and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. Aubrey now for the point after. And it's up. It's good. Our score, 14-6. to six. Five plays there on that drive. And it was finished off by a Jalen Tolbert touchdown grab. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. The New York set to take the field. They're kind of searching for that magic elixir. You know, they're moving the football a little bit, but not with any great consistency. I love that term you just used, elixir, right? <laughs> Old school. Old school. I love that because you don't want to put too much pressure on your defense as well. All right, if you're kicking field goals, that's great, but your defense has to keep going out there and holding the other team. You're not giving them any cushion to work with, and that gets tougher and tougher as the game goes along. Put the ball in the end zone and get sixes. That's the ambrosia that they're looking for. <laughs> ambrosia and trying to erase this deficit. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. A quick throw out line caught by Robinson. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and five. Looking to throw, Jones. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. Back to throw again. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late. 
because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. There he goes, right side. And he's going to get this all the way down to the Cowboys, 18. 57 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. Now that's a big-time run. Lightning in a bottle? Forget it. He exploded out of the bottle for that type of a pickup. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Singletary again. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Second down and six now. On the handoff, running left, Singletary. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. A third field goal of the first half, not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. Back to throw, Jones. That's caught, it's Waller. Touchdown, Giants! A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants have cut the lead back down to two. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals. Before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. Extra point try, good by Gano. And the lead is cut to one at 14-13. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Now we've got a giant player here slow to get up after that last play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute. But did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it. And afterwards, they'll say, there was never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. Now a second and ten. Up the middle, here's Elliott. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, it's Prescott. That is caught. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45 yard line. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And this one's gonna go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Isaiah Simmons, boy, he can move all over the field. 
And he gets a tackle for loss there. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. A second down throw for Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. So he stopped for no gain. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. All right, partner, I wasn't good enough to get this done, but I played with plenty of guys who did. When they spotted wide receiver screen and they got to the football fast and blew the whole thing up, the same result as we just saw usually happened. No gain. To throw is Prescott. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 42. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Prescott off play action. They'll roll him out right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play. Throwing. Prescott. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Now this drive, they're two for two on third down conversions, but they need seven yards here. Here's Prescott. Open man ram. It's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 26. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Dak going to hand it to Elliott on the option. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Now Elliott. Stretch out their lead. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is, I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard-charging run, give it right back to him and let him cap things off. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. And now out come the Giants. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, 
This is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive that lasts into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. And that was a really nice run there to bring up third and short after the incompletion on first down. It's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted four times out of six. Not bad. Here it's third and three. They'll try and run for this with Singletary. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lob has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 90 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They need to make up some ground, and they did. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Now Jones. Off the screen pass. That's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. Ten yards, good for a giant first down. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Throwing Jones. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Then their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Here's second and 10. To throw again, Jones. A short throw pulled in by Bellinger. And this will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Now they need two. Here's third down. They'll run a draw now with Singletary. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. They're just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Jones now on first down. High up there to grab it. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down.
Looking to throw. Jones looking high its way once again. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. to throw Jones and he'll get this underneath to Singletary now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts so that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. They'll look to throw again. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. The touch and time here critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. This is caught. It's Robinson with a Giants touchdown. A great effort there as the first half is winding down. And the Giants are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Yeah, touchdown. I love it. Now it's only a two-point game. I know it's the first half, but you've got to think. Go for two, tie it up, go into the locker room. What are you doing? Come on. You're bold. You're bold. It's real easy to be bold sitting up here yeah, rather is, than right? down we, there and making that decision. We don't have to make those decisions. Either way, a little time left on the clock here in the second quarter. We'll see how this all plays out. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with a one-point lead, you'd have to think they'll be looking just to get this to halftime. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. It's a gain of six, and that will be the final play of this first half. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a veteran quarterback, Dak Prescott, who had it working in the first half. His two touchdown passes helped pave the way for his guys to take this lead into the intermission. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? And he won't quite make it to the 25. 
The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember in that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Second half starts with a carry by Elliott. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. On second down, Elliott once more. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. They'll try and run for it with Allen. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. He'll give up six yards there on the loss, and it'll bring up fourth down. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. Here's Brian Anger now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. McKenzie now to return it. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And it'll be giant football first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. A give up the middle to Singletary. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. Here's third and six. Looking to throw. Jones. A quick throw there is incomplete. I can assure you, setting up the screen is much more difficult than it appears. It requires excellent timing from everyone on the offense, and the defense's number one goal is to throw that timing off. Here's Jamie Gillen now, as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. And no return on this one. It's a fair catch, a signal four, and take it. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 26. He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 36 yards on the play. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that. The nickel look, five cents, five DBs. But what also happens then? You take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes, you can run the football effectively against that defense. 
Prescott on first down. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. And he gets his down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll bring up second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Tenth carry now for Elliott. He'll take it inside the 25. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, that last run for a first down, it really should be the last straw for the defense. I don't care how many they've had in the box. They need to add more people. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. And it's caught. And the Cowboys are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Now Prescott. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me that option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Dak's going to keep it. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Dak Prescott. Keeping it himself from a yard out as his guys are able to extend their lead. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Aubrey now for the PAT. And with that, the lead is up to eight. So that one, an eight-play drive, it spans 75 yards. And it was all capped off by Dak Prescott, keeping it and taking it in on the touchdown run. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. The possession switching back to the New York Giants. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. Just a gain of a couple there, and it's second down. 
So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones. On the left side, it's complete. And they work this well up field across the 45. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. So how do you beat man coverage? First of all, you want to be a superior receiver, but you know something, that guy who's covering you, he's usually pretty good too. So the corner route is usually a great spot to get it done. Jones on first and 10. And quickly into the hands of Robinson. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 128 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive, and here's one out of the running game. So the passing game, loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They go right back to Singletary. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the 3. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Singletary will score. Touchdown, New York. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? Brian Dable dialing up a play call here as they will go for two. Jones throwing for it. And he'll get into the end zone, and those two points are going to tie the game. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. We got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown. So every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Oh, Prescott stripped. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately... Had an alert teammate who was able to get it. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. Prescott to throw it. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. A 
good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. On third down, Elliott. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Everyone understood their role on that play. Third and one. You know the defensive guys, they're trying to get down and get low and get leverage on the offensive lineman, but they didn't allow that to happen. They created a crease and allowed him to get through for a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Prescott now. Open man downfield is Lamb. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A good-looking drive for the Cowboys so far. It's a first down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. A first down carry by Elliott. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 84 yards rushing now for Zeke, and he's got a first down. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they block well too. Not only have they stouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. A first down throw for Prescott. And that is incomplete. Wow, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Going with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. On play action, Prescott. Too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. But what looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now Prescott. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's brought down after a very nice game. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Play action now, Prescott. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. It'll go as a loss of eight and a tough result there on first and goal. Well, that's not how you hope to draw it up there on first and goal, CD, by taking a sack like that. Well, they tried to be aggressive, didn't they? They didn't want to try and worked their way past the goal line. They wanted it right there on that play. Unfortunately, it backfired against them. Now they have to try and pick it up here moving forward. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught and you don't give up much run after the catch. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? To throw is Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys have taken the lead here in the final seconds of the third quarter. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. He has multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. Aubrey now for the point after. It's up and good, and they've jumped back ahead, 35-28. So that one along 11-play drive, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown.
So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Back to throw. Jones. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. They should have gotten more out of that, though. He was wide open. I love how emphatic you are with that call because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get upfield with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's the Giants with possession of the football, but needing points as we start quarter number four. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48, gain of just one. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed him down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? Andrew Thomas, former first-rounder from Georgia, called for the penalty there. And this offense back to needing 10 yards after the false start. Third and 10. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And he gets it just shy of midfield, but that's not enough. He's short of the marker. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we got faith in our tackles. We'll give you the short stuff. And just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can click and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Dallas offense set for this next drive. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's into the hands of Toby. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, just, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching that? Left. And he can't get away from the pressure. The Giants get there. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. 
Meanwhile, Prescott's throw pulled in by Lamb. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. The offense on third down tonight, they've been outstanding. Seven first downs and eight tries. This is third and 17. Here's Prescott. And he'll go right back to Lamb. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion and you count on your D to make it stand up. 51 yards on the punt there. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. And New York set to take the field. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 18. He'll set up to throw from the gun. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't they? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They've got to go thank the guys on D. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Now Jones. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a pick. And you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words every time we hear that. Things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. Following the interception, here's Prescott. Over the middle complete, it's Ferguson. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. On second down, Elliott. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That second down play nets a minus four. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word, put it in bold. Here we go. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down when his way it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. A give to Elliott running left. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying it around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Oh, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense, 
and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Prescott now from the 50. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And they're gonna have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 34-yard line. A sizable 16-yard chunk there. The drive continues. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. He gets it to Colts. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Jalen Tolbert. His second touchdown of the night. And the Cowboys have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. We talk so often about how hard it is to win in the NFL when you turn the ball over. And here a late turnover leads to a fourth-quarter touchdown and a two-score lead. And what's more important is being able to take advantage when a turnover presents itself. You've got to come up with points to make the other guy pay. They're able to do so here. And they've got a pretty good chance now of winning this football game. Aubrey good with a PAT. And the lead now up to 14. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive, in particular if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he'll look downfield for Waller. It's caught at the 10. Touchdown, Giants. Darren Waller with his second touchdown of the night. And the Giants have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Gano the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter.
Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. Prescott. He's got it complete to Tolbert. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Inside give to Elliott. And a pretty good burst there as he get this across midfield and down to the 46. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Play fake. Here's Prescott. And incomplete on the deep ball. One of the great coaches said football is a really simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush won, hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. The battle in the trenches never more important than right now. This is third and in inches. Now Prescott. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Off the play fake, Prescott eluding the pressure right. They'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. A second down throw for Prescott. Left side to land. And he will get enough for a first down, and that will lead us to the two-minute warning. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Second and 12, and you'd have to assume another all-out effort to stop the run is coming. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. They'll come up now third and nine. Got 
Another carry tonight for the workhorse Alayla. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Here's Prescott. That's over the middle, the schoolmaker. He cannot wiggle free. They stop him at the line on fourth down. The Cowboys here unable to convert on fourth down. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. So now Jones and the Giants down by seven. A minute 46 to go. Needing to go pretty much the length of the football field as they have it first and ten. Jones. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Osa Odigi Zauer in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Back-to-back -back big plays defensively. First the sack. Now they force the incompletion on third and long. Things looking pretty good for them. And this is where they have to be careful because they've got the momentum going their way. They will be really amped up to get to the quarterback. Look out. Draw, screen, something that could be used against them. To throw is Jones. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And they'll have the ball set up in the red zone at the 16-yard line. So the defense helping them out a little bit here late in the fourth. Yeah, and you're exactly right. And when you're the one doing the chasing, you'll take a little help from the other guys, won't you? Well, plenty of time to work with here, but the timeouts, they're gone. Here's first and ten. Jones throw complete here to Wall. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. They'll come up first and 10 here. Now Jones. Throw is going to be incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like having there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions, and that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Jones. And he comes back with one complete. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. Here's Jones. complete and inside the 20 before he's brought down this is where hustle and urgency come into play I think you got to get up there and spike it final minute no timeouts at their disposal here's first and ten scan the field there it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice the protection was that good unfortunately for him the coverage downfield equally good the ball on the 16 for second and 10 
Now Jones. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his head. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Jones. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. What a great sequence by this defense so far. They've given him nowhere to go with the football. And they just have to make it stand up one more time because it appears that they've got their number. Can they not have a slip up here and allow the touchdown? The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys have just about sewn up this football game. The fourth down, they felt compelled to go for it, and he throws the INT. Yeah, he knows that you can't take a sack there, so he had to try and force one in. Now, this might not be a throw he makes if we're in the second quarter, but he had to take the chance there, and this one wound up being intercepted. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And yeah, Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to one possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. In this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.